Hey guys, how's it going? Mike from Booba here. Today I'm actually coming at you from the garage, and right now I'm standing in front of one of our Mustang GT test cars. I want to talk to you about something new and exciting that we've been working on for this vehicle. The Boomba Racing Fuel Rail for the Mustang GT is a direct replacement for the factory piece. So you don't have to worry about cutting anything up or, you know, modifying your car in ways that are irreversible. The nice thing about this piece is that it features a larger internal bore diameter. What that means is it's easier to run more fuel through the vehicle. So whether you're upgrading your pump or doing bigger injectors in it, this rail can handle it without any kind of issue. We also feature MPT ports on the side of this so that we can run a fuel pressure gauge to see what kind of pressure that you're making out of your pump. As you may notice, the fuel feed on this rail is a center feed design. This helps with even distribution of fuel throughout all of the injectors. We've also made this very easy to set up for custom fuel systems. You'll notice we've got ports on both ends of the rail here, which will allow you to set up different kind of feed and return style setups if you don't want to stay with the factory style design. Our Mustang GT fuel rails are CNC machined from premium grade 6061 billet aluminum right here in our Wooddale facility. You can also get these in four different colors from red, black, blue, and natural finish. Installation of this fuel rail is pretty simple, so don't click that mouse. Just go ahead and follow along with this video. We're going to show you how to put these on your car. The following tools are required for this installation. Safety glasses, a 10 millimeter socket, 7 8 inch open end wrenches. You'll actually need two of these for this, and a flathead screwdriver. Begin by removing the engine cover. Move the coolant hoses aside. Unscrew the four 10 millimeter nuts and remove the coolant hose brackets. Also, remove the fuel rail foam insulators. For safety, remove the fuel pump fuse number 49, which is a 30 amp fuse in your fuse box. Unplug all eight fuel injector harnesses. Locate the fuel feed line on the driver's side, push up the blue clip. Slowly remove the fuel line, have a rag or paper towels ready to soak up any excess gasoline that may come out of the rail. Remove the four bolts securing the fuel rails. Move the coolant hoses aside, pull up on the fuel rail assembly, and remove it. Remove the stock clips and injectors. These pieces you will be reusing. Install the injectors and clips onto the Boomba Racing fuel rails. Reinstall both fuel rails onto the car. The rail with the fuel feed line goes on the left hand side of the vehicle.
Reinstall the fuel rail bolts. Plug the injector harness back into the injectors. Install the steel braided bridging hose. Screw in one side first and tighten it with a wrench. When screwing in the other side, hold the base of the fitting with one wrench while tightening it with the other. Reinstall the coolant hose brackets. Reposition the coolant hoses. Reconnect the feed line and push in the blue clip. Reinstall the 30 amp fuse into slot number 49 in your fuse box. Start the car and check for any leaks at the three major attachment points of your fuel rail. This wraps up the installation of your Boomba Racing fuel rail on your Mustang GT. Go out there and enjoy your vehicle. Hey guys, Mikey from Boom. Uh, Mikey? <laughs> here we go. Alright, here we go. This is for centralized fuel distribution, I think. <laughs> <laughs> installation of this fuel rail. My name's Jeff. I don't know. <laughs> do, 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 do. That's pretty much it. <laughs> All right.